How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Uh, today we're going to go into a more in-depth discussion on uh, trade services when you're doing your supplier link and it's basically open up, opening up su supplier exchange. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, the importance of updating your price codes and also paying attention to when you're sending the material back um, you need to check to make sure this price is even correct um, today personally I had connectors come back at fifteen thousand dollars for a thousand of them and it was crazy I didn't I, I was on the phone with the supply house we were checking price codes I got Trimble involved so much so many factors that can go wrong with this but uh yeah let's let's jump in okay so for for those of us who don't know what price codes are these price codes are located right here these are in your database and database manager uh, these codes are only as good as what the supply house is actually carrying you can have a price code here and the supply house doesn't even have that price code they have a, a totally different price code so the important thing here is is when you get your accurate database you might want to start going through your database manager start talking to your supply houses um, check the most important things I would say your conduit boxes uh, wire uh, connectors and couplings and stuff like that that's like the biggest amount of quantities you're probably gonna have on the on the job your receptacles and and whatever special receptacles you could probably go back to that later because you can plug that in it's probably gonna be maybe five or six different devices that's easy to catch something like when you got you know ten different wire sizes five different pipes you want to make sure that's all correct so first let's jump into supplier link so we're gonna click this button here send a supplier link it's gonna open up Acubit supplier link and this is it utilizes supplier uh, supplier link uh, back to trade services um, this is a part of Acubit now so you get a tracer license that comes with your Acubit license if not and you kind of maybe actually there is actually you can't opt out of it it's part of your license now so when you renew it at the end of the year it's 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 auto renewed you can't opt out of it um, uh, from what Trimboy has told me so le let's look at this screen for a minute it's gonna give you the description your price codes that you have in your database the manufacturer um, you don't have to worry if this doesn't have a manufacturer. The price code carries the manufacturer. Um, in in your database manager, if you really wanna be such a you know detailed, you can put in a description or a manufacturer and a catalog number. You can get very descriptive, but the most important factor is this price code right here. This is the only way the program communicates through trade services back to the supply house so they can give you up-to-date pricing uh, manufacturer number your catalog number there's a reference number uh, the number of quantities and then you got your units so if you don't know what this is C means hundred E is each and M is per thousand so per hundred each per thousand your budget price is uh, Acubit has like a an, an, a normal budget price of you know 76 bucks on an average market price it, it can change but it really doesn't matter you, your price code and your supply house are gonna dictate that price you got your price factor one um, I might show this in another video you can multiply this out if you wanted to which will give you a higher price I, I don't know when you would want to use that but you can do it um, material condition normal okay so we're gonna want to click request supplier quotations 
And in this case, I'm gonna only do one for right now and show you the difference of the two. So we're gonna click this remove and hit CD only. Um, my database is solely based on uh, CEDs. I, I talked with CEDs, I got all their price codes. I've been working on this for a while, so it's pretty good. I, I might have like one or two things missing at a time. Like let's say this plate here, my price code is not good and they're not recognizing okay so let's let's talk about what you got now so what came back CD came back with price up to date per hundred and they're telling me that for example three quarter inch conduit is selling for 116.94 per hundred you're gonna have a second column here called the approved price which means you're getting a guaranteed price to approve to your your in your estimate from CED if you have something out there that's not showing up they'll give you like an aggressive price too but in this case the aggressive price and the approved price are all the exact same thing so we're gonna want to send this back to the job and we're gonna jump right back into this Hit okay this is how you know your stuff is up to date you're gonna have a link price here with money attached to everything uh, if something's not there like from here this is uh, firecock I, I really don't have a price code for that but I have fire pad price codes uh, there's some other things you don't really do cat six test there's no money associated with that labels really no money um, I throw in like I don't know five cents or something like that it adds up over time you might want to buy one of the machines label makers to do that that covers the cost in the end um, so forth so okay so we got this pricing right now demonstration purpose I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff right now the way to do that if you want to start this from clean you hit re-extend uh, you select all and it basically removes all the price codes uh, what this does stay here and I believe you have to hit select all Rick's thing. Oh, that's weird. It's locked in there. Huh. So anyway, the link price did stay in there, which is very strange. It hasn't it they must have fixed this because in 14 you can't do that it actually removes it so I just learned something today I'm used to working on 14 my version is 15 um, so we're gonna stay in this but if you notice the price codes are are not blue no more and and that signifies it was up to date so if I go back into here and we're gonna now say we want to use CD and Steiner and here's the kicker on this one and this goes back to monitoring your price codes you see Steiner's Steiner doesn't recognize any of these price codes at all therefore they cannot give you any pricing they recognized uh, this one and that one and these couple down here and that one that's it so you notice that when you do compare the two, they're gonna the trade services will pick the lower of the how how many supply house you got. There is a trick to this if you want to sit there. I mean, this is totally up to you, but I could I want to show you the capabilities of trade services and Acubid. You see these two tabs. This is a Steiner tab and a CD tab. So if you actually come in here you can override the pricing and say uh, I don't want to go with Steiner for this but because it actually picked these two here you can say uh, I don't want these so when you go into results it went with the higher price instead because you chose that uh, it, it's a trick of the day if you might come into a situation where you have to pick something and maybe like I said the price codes are wrong and, and 
you want to make sure your, your your cable was right or whatnot, you can actually come in here and, and pick and choose which ones to use if you run into that situation. Um, green means that's what they're using. Uh, the orange is like say like it's an alternate, which that's what you're picking. You're picking an alternate price versus what um, trade services is picking for you. Okay, so now here here's a another thing that's going on with this. My thing is set up to where there is no alternates. To be able to see this, you hit set uh, settings options, and then you're gonna see my email. And that's my password down here. Um, you ever guys want to get a hold of me? There's my email. There's a button down here. It's called alternates. Now, you have two options. Provide an alternate when item is not found and you get the cheapest. Um, they're pretty much the same. They There are some, you might see some differences, but not really. Um, what I used to do is hit cheapest. And hit OK, and that's set. So now what you want to do is you want to request the, the pricing again. So we're going to request prior quotations, and we're going to do both of them. Uh, this time you got to give it a second because it is trying to look for, uh, the, the, you know, you're going to have a price code, and then if one's too high, they're going to find something that's cheaper. So that's what this is doing. So they're coming back with an alternative manufacturer with a better price code. And this manufacturer, EGS Electrical Group, says they can do it for $32.40 per hundred. And then you see this all for you know wire and whatnot. Now I'm gonna point something out right away. And this is because I look at this all the time. See this number 12? CD is telling me they could get it for 111 for number 12s. I guarantee you right now you cannot get that number 12 for no 111 dollars. At the lowest right now per thousand, it's 189 or so dollars per thousand. So if you're not paying attention to what's going on here and you start seeing all these alternates and stuff. And you're kind of wondering why you're always short on material. I mean, you're always over budget on materials. This is probably the reason why. And, and I'm trying to help everybody out. Nobody pays attention to this until many, many years ago where I started looking into this and started really diving into this and, 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 and pulling these part numbers and, and these price codes. And I go into trade services and I'm be like, Hey, wait a minute, man. This is this isn't even right. And no wonder these jobs are, are never <laughs> meeting the material budget and whatnot. So this is this is a, a great explanation to show you uh, and understand when what you're doing when you're doing this and pay attention to what you're actually transferring back into your bid because it's there's gonna be you know five thousand, ten thousand dollar difference. And especially receptacles, if you're not paying attention, and especially in healthcare, healthcare got like two or three different types of grades of healthcare hospital grade receptacles. And if you ever use a best code, it's gonna grab a lower end. And for those of us who are in healthcare, some of these receptacles are between like thirteen and nineteen dollars each, and those are for the heavy duty. Uh, receptacle extra heavy duty receptacle then they have like a heavy duty that's only like seven bucks and then they got like a lighter duty that's only like three or four dollars uh, each so that can kill you right there if you're buying three or four hundred of these um, once again Alfred Flores New Age Electric um, let me know if you guys have any questions concerns leave a comment uh, thank you for watching.